How's it going everyone? Welcome to another video. This video I've been quite reluctant to make, but things have changed uh, since I left to go to the UK. Um, I had an insight when I was in the UK doing activism, connecting with all the other activists. I spent a lot of time with some hard-working, dedicated activists. And I also attended a lot of vigils. I've seen a lot of the reality of what's happening to these animals firsthand. For me, the suffering of the chickens, it felt it really hit home for me a lot more because I know that the chickens, they're only infants and they're about six weeks old at slaughter and you can just see they're terrified, they're suffering a lot and they're anemic and lying on their back, uh, a lot of them are dying on the way to the slaughterhouse, they have broken legs, they can't stand up because they've been genetically bred so that they're a lot bigger than their body can hold. It really gave me some perspective. Now, up until this point, I have been dedicated to my activism. I was doing as much as I could uh, given the circumstances I was in, but I feel like I could do more. I feel like I could dedicate a lot more of my time to this. And since getting back from the UK, I've decided not to, to go back and attend my job. I was working as a traffic controller three days a week and I've decided that that's not for me. I've decided that it's an injustice to the animals to spend three days a week at a job that stops my momentum. So those three days a week, 30 hours, stops my momentum and I could be spending those three days a week working on videos, organizing activist events, um, helping other activists. So traveling around, doing my activism, helping people, doing talks, activism workshops, things like that, has really helped me sort of see what I need to do here and that's be full-time activist. So what this video is about is I've started a Patreon page I've been pretty reluctant to do that. I didn't really want to, but I've decided it's best. And what was holding me back from doing that, and I've realized what was holding me back was my ego. People are gonna say stuff about you no matter what, no matter how good you're doing, no matter how much your heart, heart is in the right place. There's always gonna be people that are gonna say stuff about you, and that's something I have to come to terms with. And you know what, I've realized, and I was speaking to a friend about this, and she, she actually gave me a really good insight. I said as a part of my ego and my pride that doesn't want to put up a Patreon and ask for support from people, I feel like I can you know, go to work, make my own money and do it myself and be an animal activist on top of that. And she said, well, you know, like you're kind of choosing your ego over the animals. And I was like, wow, that is a truth bomb because you're right, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm letting my ego get in the way of being a 100% dedicated animal rights activist and an online activist and all the things I, I need to be doing because this is where I shine, this is what I love to do and this is what needs to be done, it's imperative. This is becoming beyond urgent. The animals need me urgently, I need to be focusing full time. Now, this is a way that you can help out if you can't if you feel like you can't do what I do out there on the streets um, you can't do it quite like I do this is your way to contribute this is your way to contribute and to support me if you think I'm worthy of support for getting by as an activist the type of activism I do street interviews positive vegan outreach organizing attending and supporting vigils training activists and supporting activist groups worldwide public speaking and activism workshops making educational vegan videos with a positive message organizing direct action activism future marches and other animal rights work, supporting and coaching new vegans. So with my Patreon team, we'll work, we'll work together and brainstorm ideas. I'll make a monthly video for you guys, a live stream, and we can talk about my activism and what I've done for the month and what I plan to do for the month. And you can really help me and you can channel your ideas through me and I can take them and put them into action. So this is your way of sort of, it's like a, a little network here and we're all doing this together. So that would be, I think that would be a very positive thing. Working together is what we need more, in this, more of in this movement. Okay, another thing I want to talk about, if you want me to come to your uh, country, to where you are, to help out with the activism over there, to help the activists, to talk at a festival, to do uh, activism workshops, I'm willing to go anywhere. You can, and I, and I can come and help out, help set things up, just give you that morale boost, um, bring the eyes from my subscribers to your work and to, to what's going on going on in your area. All I would ask for is to help me out with travel expenses and somewhere to stay and I can literally go anywhere and help you with whatever you're doing in your country or whatever. So I'm happy to do that. I've really taken a leap of faith here guys. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I've just decided to just focus on this full time and I'm hoping that when, you're, when your heart's in the right place and you follow your passion, then things just work themselves out. So I just wanna say thank you so much for all of your support. It's been overwhelming the last few weeks. I've been getting inundated with messages and comments of support. I can't keep up with a lot of them. And I just wanna say thank you so much. This is what I really feel like I need to be doing. And like I said, no matter what you do, people are always gonna say stuff and I don't care about that. I care about the animal message and helping 
the most oppressed victims on earth and this is what I need to be doing. So if you wanna stand by me and support me, I'll leave the link to my Patreon in my description box and I'll leave it at the end of my videos from now on. So I could really use some help right now and thank you so much for your support. Peace. They get another opportunity at last, these ones. That's the way it is.